this demonstration, we're going to have a look at a thing called a lag database. And the purpose of a lag database really is to give us a copy of a database in a database availability group that is, say, for example, one week behind or a day behind. The advantage of this is if the primary becomes corrupt, what will happen is that corruption will then copy to all of the secondaries. And what the lag database will allow us to do is it will allow us to get the database back to a consistent state and then allow us to restore from a backup. So this is all done through... Uh, the Exchange Management Console and some of the work is also done through the Exchange Management Shell. So the first thing we need to do is set up our database availability group and I'm going to do that through the command line. So type in the command, we're going to create our new database availability group. It's going to be called DAG1, witness server is going to be van dc one for the deciding vote, witness directory for the share will be FSW DAG1 and then I'm going to set up the IP address for the database availability group of 10.10.0.100. .10 so hit return. As you can see here, it's going to start creating everything. It's now created the database availability group. Now this is going to take a little while just for it to pop up in the Exchange Management Console. So what I'm going to do at this point here is just pause the video and return back once we get everything up and running within the Exchange Management Console. So as we can see now in my Exchange Management Console, I've come into Organization Configuration, Mailbox, clicked on my database availability groups. Now what I want to do here is add in a couple of servers. So what I'm going to do here is just manage my database availability group. Click on my add button, add in my two servers and click OK. Click manage and again this is going to take a little while so what I'll do here is I'll just pause the video again while we're waiting for the servers to add in. Now this could take up to 10 minutes so return back to the video once the servers have been added to the database availability group. So as you can see here group membership is now built so click finish. This is up and running now. The next thing we want to do is we just want to set up our database to be replicated. So what I'm going to do here, database management, click on my accounting database. What I'll do here is I shall just add a mailbox database copy. What we'll do here, we'll just browse through. We'll add it to van ex2, that's part of our database availability group. Click OK. Click add. Wait for this to finish and then we should have a, a copy of the accounting database sitting on EX2. So again, I'll just pause the video while this is copying. Okay, that's done. So we'll just click finish. So as we can see, we've got the mountain database, we've got the healthy database. What I want to do on van EX2 though is I want to make this the lag database. Once I make the lag database, I need to ensure that my exchange server, in the case of everything being up and running, and all the databases being healthy that we don't fail over to the lag database because that means that we could potentially be a week behind everything. So we're going to take it out of uh, production and we're going to allow it to still be updated but we're going to keep it a week behind just in case the primary database does corrupt. So to do that we need to go to the exchange management shell. So what we've done now is we've set hyphen mailbox database copy hyphen id accounting van ex2 replay lag time is going to be seven days zero hours, zero minutes, zero seconds. So we'll just highlight this and click OK. As we can see, it's returned back now, so it's set up the, the replay lag time. The next thing I want to do is actually want to block this thing from activating, so we just need to type in the command to do that. I'll set hyphen mailbox server, van ex2 hyphen database copy auto activation policy is blocked. So what I'm assuming here is I've got another couple of uh, secondary copies that will take over in the case of the primary server completely dying. But in the case of any corruption, we can then bring this copy online and allow users to uh, access their email. So return, that's all done. So that's the end of the demonstration. Thanks very much.